What really happened to Ron Perlman? Star in series Beauty and the Beast. Ron Perlman was born Ronald Ron Perlman on April 13, 1950, in Manhattan, New York City. His mother, Dorothy, was a municipal employee, and his father, Bertram Bert Perlman, was a jazz drummer and television repairman. His family is Jewish, originally from Hungary and Poland, and Perlman had a bar mitzvah ceremony. He graduated from George Washington High School in 1967 and Lehman College in 1971. He later attended the University of Minnesota where he graduated with a master's degree in theater arts in 1973. Ron Perlman started his career as a theater actor, working in various theaters including Knickerbocker Theater, Brooks Atkinson Theater, Lincoln Center, and Circle in the Square Theater. Perlman started his career in the film industry with the critically acclaimed role of a Mouker in Jean-Jacques Anno's 1981 film, Quest for Fire. Very quickly he received his first prize when he was nominated for the Genie Award for Best Performance by a Foreign Actor for his. However, he struggled to find any good role in the next few years, with only small or guest appearances coming his way. When he was considering quitting his line of work, he was offered the role of Vincent in the CBS fantasy drama Beauty and the Beast. He played the lead character of the mythic, noble beast man opposite Linda Hamilton who portrayed the Beauty. Perlman was part of the show for 55 episodes between 1987 and 1990. He was nominated at the Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series as well as at the Q Awards for Best Actor in a Quality Drama Series. He won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Television Series Drama in 1989 and the Q Award for Best Actor in a Quality Drama Series in 1988-89. This was the turning point of Perlman's fortunes in the show business went on to play roles in many films and television series throughout the 1980s and 1990s as well as the 2000s. His most notable film appearances were in films such as The Name of the Rose 1986, Romeo is Bleeding 1993, The Adventures of Huck Finn 1993, Police Academy, Mission to Moscow 1994, The Last Supper 1995, The Island of Dr. Moreau 1996, Alien Resurrection 1997, Enemy at the Gates 2001, Blade 2 and Star Trek, Nemesis both 2002 and two Stephen King adaptations, Sleepwalkers and Desperation. In 2004, Perlman made a name for himself in the superhero genre when he was offered the title character of the film adaptation of the comic book, Hellboy. He appeared in several direct-to-DVD films before appearing in the 2006 thriller film, The Last Winter, as, Ed Pollock. He received a Gotham Award for, Best Ensemble Cast, nomination the following year for his role in the film. He returned as, Hellboy, in the sequel, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army, of the original superhero movie in 2008 and earned two nominations at the Scream Awards in the Best Fantasy Actor and Best Superhero categories. In the next decade, he appeared in dozens of films, including Dark Country, Season of the Witch, alongside Nicolas Cage, Conan the Barbarian, alongside Jason Momoa, Pacific Rim, Moonwalkers, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. In the television industry, Perlman became a popular actor after his successful stint in the series, Beauty and the Beast. He appeared in, Bonkers, in 1993, Phantom 2040, in 1996, and, Mortal Kombat, Defenders of the Realm, in 1996. He portrayed the role of, Josiah Sanchez, in the Western television series, The Magnificent Seven, between 1998 and 2000. Between 2003 and 2007, Perlman was part of two popular animated shows as a voice artist, Teen Titans, and, Danny Phantom. He played the role of, Clay Morrow, in the crime drama television series, Sons of Anarchy, between 2008 and 2013. 
He was the narrator in One Thousand Ways to Die and played Judge Purnell Harris's in the web series Hand of God. Soon he will also participate in the film Nightmare Alley directed by Guillermo del Toro. In the movie he will be playing the character Bruno. The film is scheduled to be released in December 2021. We will look forward to his acting. Pearlman married Opal Stone on February 14, 1981. They have two children, daughter Blake Amanda Pearlman and son Brandon Avery Pearlman. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Ron Perlman.